I'm Mr. Saim here. Practical activity 8.11, open 8.13, tax rates. Change formula in cell in C4 so that it is used. It uses a uh, named range for the cost. Okay, replicate this formula. So I change the formula in C4 so that it uses a named range. So in C4, okay, uh, so that it uses a name range for the cost. Replicate this formula to C5 to C7, right? Um, use a name range to calculate the total cost in B8. A name the range of the cost into name the range for the cost including tax. Use name ranges to calculate the total cost including tax in D8. So basically, you can see over here that we have to do is change the formula in C4 so that it uses a name range for the cost. So actually, uh, what we've done over here is we have used a name range over here already. So I have B4, so B4 is this, and it's multiplying by tax rate. And what is tax rate? Well, simply, if you want to know what tax rate is, um, oh, sorry. You can simply type tax rate over here and see that this particular is your tax rate. That's your tax rate. So what we're doing is we're multiplying this value by this name range. So every time you see, tax rate remains the same. Okay. And then what we have is we're multiplying cost by the tax rate. That's my cost. And we're multiplying by the tax charged. And what's the tax charged? Okay. You can see over here is, uh, this is your, if you always have to find it out, it's pretty easy. You just paste it here. And you get to know that this entire range is known as a tax charge. So what we're doing here again, we are multiplying the cost by the tax charged. Okay, so that's the same, right? So we multiply the cost by the tax charged and we get respectively that. So right, we've done that. Replicate this formula, user name range, calculate the total uh, cost in B8. Right. 